Hey y'all, I am finally getting out to figure out what I'm doing for Christmas decoration. I'm making my rounds to a few stores um, to see if they have anything that I want to add because I have no idea what I'm doing. I know I'm really late so I probably won't even get anything. So let's see what they have for us. stores let me do like a quick little haul on things that I'm adding to my Christmas collection <laughs> I guess that's what you can call it right so look what I picked up in Marshall's two black Santas look at that that's so rare so got those they were $14.99 a piece at that to the collection and Marshall's got a gold Christmas tree and I'm gonna use this for um, on my stove for my spoon. But you can also use this as like a candy little dish. Remote control holder is another thing I would use this for. But this one will be like to hold the spoon on the stove. I went to a few Rosses. That's usually how it happens. And picked up the Mary Joseph Wooden Northern Star. I love it. Only thing I don't like about this is like this um, this glitter that they put on there. I guess it's supposed to make it look like it's snow, but they didn't have no snow. So, other than that, it's cool. My favorite chocolate, the Caramel Ghirardelli's. They're actually, they're actually like, let's see how many I have left. I know I was tearing these up in the car. I only have two left. That's just how much I love those. This modern Christmas tree. I wish they had like another one that was like this height instead of so I can like layer it, but they only had this size. $6.99. These are Christmas presents for the girls. Y'all, I have one, two, three, six, seven, eight. I have nine nieces that I need to buy gifts for. Like my sister, Michael's sister, um, Danielle's baby, um, Lexi's three kids, and uh, my friend Aya's three kids, who you will meet Aya tonight. We're going um, out for dinner. Also, look at this little choo choo train. I wish it was bigger. They did have like a, a really big one, but it was silver and it was $39. Now this one y'all, I broke my rule on. My rule is if I can't guess the price, I will not buy it. Um, I guess that this would be $9.99, um, but it was actually $16.99 at Ross. But it's really heavy, like it's, it's iron. Yeah, it's like super heavy. So I think that's why that costs a little bit more. Um, I definitely put it down, picked it back up really debating on it because I'm that cheap <laughs> so yeah what's up Ross I picked up a sign that says oh holy night it's gold white perfect goes that's it with Ross then I went into it was a dollar general pop shelf and I really couldn't find anything that was worth the price like dollar general to me dollar general is expensive like I feel like I can always find it somewhere else um, but they did have these gold stands and they were, one had a $5 sign on it, but then the other ones didn't have, like one had a $5 sticker on it, but then the other ones didn't have anything. So when I scanned them, I was like, I don't wanna pay $5 for that. So then when I scanned it, um, it came up 250. I was like, ooh, 250, I can do 250. But then like the smaller one didn't have a tag on it at all. And so I asked the man like, how much, how much would that be? And he was like, you know what? Like, I'm just gonna give you all of them for a dollar because I feel like everything in here should be a dollar. And I said, I think everything in here should be a dollar too. So he gave them to me for a dollar. So I just cleared them out and, had, and I got these. You can always use these for like events. I love when people, and he was the manager, so it wasn't like it was an employee like doing something shady. It was the manager doing something shady. 
then I went to Walmart because I needed to get a bin for my balloons so they can have a home. And at Walmart, I got some Vaseline for lights for my garland. And I picked up um, some gold hoops, $2.88. Um, this family feud game is called Platinum Ed Edition, like jumbo card game. Picked that up. This was only like $3.47, so figured it wouldn't hurt to have those. Got some more gloves. I like, I have tons of these like cheap Walmart gloves. And what I do is anything that I have pockets with, so any like winter coat that I have like a pocket in, even like this vest, it needs some gloves in it. I always just like do this and i have gloves and everything so and i always like i'm so grateful for my my past self thinking about my future self because like i'm always in need of them when you're out and about you just like your hands cold and then i also picked up oh, this thing that is supposed to be like for uh wrapping paper um i don't need anything that holds wrapping paper but i need something that will hold um dried flowers that I have in my inventory. So pick that up, wasn't happy about the price, but I really think that it should have been $5, but it was $9.88, but I need it, so I had to get it. That's everything I got, and I think honestly that's gonna be, that's gonna be it for Christmas decor shopping this year. Uh, I'm late on the game, so I'm not finding anything like I really care about. I haven't been to Hobby Lobby, but Hobby Lobby got rid of their coupon, y'all, and I don't know. You know that kind of that kind of hurts a little bit. So I don't think I'm I want to get anything. But you know maybe maybe I'll stop by. Maybe we'll see what they have. Spray the pump scratch with hairspray and store them in this container, so they can have a home. Just using some cheap hairspray, and you just spray it. Spray like the feathers, so it prevents them from shedding. And And then it's still kind of tall. That's okay though. So that worked out perfectly. And then any other like dried flowers that I have upstairs in the inventory, I can just add them to the bin. That's how it looks. Hello. All right, tonight I am meeting my friend, my first college friend actually. I have for dinner and some drinks. I think we're doing fun tonight. And then um, I'm gonna get like a Christmas cocktail, maybe. Maybe I think that's the game plan. Well, no, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But I'll introduce you to her, and she also has a YouTube channel, so I'll let her talk about it too. we just had like came back to school and this guy I was talking to first off how many was it our crew was five yeah. of us okay six okay so six. it was like six of us so that was like our crew like six six girls okay we're, we can have a picture we, pop up we can have a we, picture okay pop up. we were all shades all sizes like that was our crew like we love it okay but for me I always had to be the driver to the parties so I couldn't and drink. you drove all the way to North Carolina to the yeah and Tiffany got I married. was always the driver I mean we, we went out I had to wait till we get there to drink. Underage drinking at your finest. Yes. <laughs> so the girls, they were always like done. done. And then like this guy I was talking to, we had like 
what we had just parked, and so I got up, got out the car to say hi to him. Uh, uh, I've been, I know you were about to say. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> as I'm saying hi to him, he said, your homegirl just fell off the car. <laughs> and I said, oh, not my girl. girls. Because, <laughs> like, like, we're not sloppy, not my girls. Right, no, not us. Of I course looked not. over, this chick is on the gravel. Girl, <laughs> on the ground. On the ground. On the I ground. Was um, like we go a little bit hard with drinking. Yes. So we had to like come up with rules yes. as like a group. Like, hey, hey y'all, before you go out for the night, like you need to like before you get too drunk, yes. who do you not want to go home with? Right. Right. And and that's just what, that's like having your girls back because yes. like when liquor starts to you start to feel your liquor, you start seeing people differently. <laughs> it's like, uh uh girl. You ain't going no, 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 no. He's not on your list. Right, he's, he's, not not, on your list. he's not on your list. Not the list. No, not the list. We're not, not entertaining him. No <laughs> dancing with him. Come on. Come on. <laughs> and that yeah. worked out for us because as like a group of six, I mean, everybody was like mm -hmm. entertaining us. People just always just like, not necessarily always want to talk to us. I, I don't want to say that, but I, yeah. that, but that's what it was because mm -hmm. it was just like so many of us. And we was, was pretty, pretty, yeah, pretty, pretty girls, girls. Yeah. yeah. So it's just so many of us. So we just like had to put those ground rules down, like. And it's just having your sister back because you never know what's going down in college, like when people, you know, when you right. have drinking and you have the men around, like. Yeah, you, you just, just gotta look out for your friends. Yeah, and we just always did that. I'm not saying that we were all like hoes and like messing around because that <laughs> that definitely wasn't us. But at the end of the day, it's like okay. This is my one. Right, this is my I, one. This is my one. This is this is this is it. This is the only person I can like dance with the night, go home with. That's right. it. Right. And I just think like that's something like if you're a parent and I know that you don't want to think like your kids are out there drinking or that they're out there having sex, but at the mm -hmm. end of the day, like your kids are off in college, they're grown. So and that's just something to like yeah. say to like say to them, you know, like keep that in mind. Like exactly. But Aya, she has a YouTube channel. So if you're into natural yeah. home remedies, yeah, I would, mother, yeah, I would say if you like storytelling that's around pregnancy and birth, mm. I think you'll be interested. I tell stories, I share stories of women who have had babies, and they they tell their birth stories, and I interview midwives, doulas. So, right, um, gives you like tons of advice too, like yeah, and a different you, when you're pregnant or like what to do with your milk and all that stuff. I learned a lot. Mm -hmm. and I don't have a child. Yeah, so more interviews coming your way on on my channel. Yeah, I just yeah, she's a mother. Kids. She's a mother of freaking three kids. What in the world? It she's married. Fast. Yeah. It really fast. Maybe, maybe, maybe this season this month we can have a reunion oh that'd be so uh, nice I do you want to meet the crew <laughs> the crew <laughs> that's what they called oh. us in college they called us the crew yes i was so i was just talking to tiffany tiffany and i gonna be down until in the springtime oh should i come home for christmas audience should know that cherish this this creative side has always been around since oh. college she threw my first like surprise friends birthday party. I remember that. Oh wow! With the poster. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was so sweet. I think I cried. Like I never had like a surprise. Um yeah. Personal birthday party. And I threw her through um my college boyfriend. Like I went to decorate his his yeah, dorm room for Valentine's Day. We broke into his broke his dorm into his place. and I made her like climb through the window. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Well, can I say that? Oh no! Oh. Who? Say who? I said, "What the hell? What the?" Fuck? Oh yeah, you can guess. It's fine. Okay. It's fine. Um, yeah. Blogs are real life. We That's just break. what it is. True. But we did break into his place. Hold on! Did you climb through the window? Or no, I. I. You climbed through the window. And you let us in. Wow. Look because I know I had when I went over there, I had cracked the window so we can break in. What? Yes. So oh, I had like planned it out. Yeah. And. Did you take pictures? That room, you did good decorating. That I room. took pictures. They're just hanging out, catching up. Yes, we catching up. It's always good to um, spend time with your sisters, especially around the holidays. Just in general. Yeah. In general. Yes. If you are looking for a wedding planner, event planner, like you definitely should hire Cherish. Like we 
gonna have a good time. Aww, have a good time. That's a sweet, a little have sweet a little time. plug. Yes, sweet little plug. <laughs> oh, right. When you did, when you gathered the, um, when you put together the black and white event, oh. and you drew all that money out the ATM. <laughs> what the hell? You drew all that money out the ATM. You were supposed to be. I remember it. We had flyers. Oh, I think I still had a flyer. Okay, yeah. So <laughs> I still got a flyer. I still have a flyer too. Yay! So in college, our freshman year of college, I decided that you know in college how you have like you went to a university, you know how like the fraternity sororities like throw parties or whatever. Well, why can't regular people throw parties? So I wanted to throw a party and it was like the black and white affair because I want everybody like dressed up a little bit. And so I went to the ATM. <laughs> <laughs> to withdraw some money so I can get some flyers made and I, it was supposed to be $30 that I withdraw I ended up typing in an extra zero so it was $300 I didn't have $300 in my bank account you know Bank of America gave me $300 <laughs> and I was just like oh y'all we rich we rich so we like went to Taco Bell <laughs> we went out so we like we went to Taco Bell we threw the party hired the DJ um <laughs> We did something out. We went to Nashville for a party. Yes. Like, I just saw three, $300 back then, and when you really don't have any bills, like, it, it stretches and it goes a long way. Right. And I was like, oh, right. my gosh, they gave us this money for free. No. No. My no. bank account was over. <laughs> over draft, 300 and something dollars. Did and you ever pay that back? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't pay that back? Because they closed my account. Oh, uh, dang. Oh, no. It never went on my credit. Oh man. Oh, <laughs> oh dang. Oh dang. I was like, they gave me extra money. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. How naive. That's so funny. <laughs> I don't think we need to air out no more. <laughs> I think we gave them enough now. Enough. That we can't enough. air out anything else until we get everybody together. That would be. Oh, that's going to be fun. We can do some in the springtime. Bells ringing, diamonds blinging, 